Okay. Let me go to another. Um, this one was an editorial you wrote in the Washington Free Beacon. A message for firearms manufacturers and banks under attack from Chicago Democratic Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Texas welcomes you. Um, gun control uh, efforts invited executive. Uh, you invited executives to consider the warmer, friendlier climate of the Lone Star State in a letter to the CEOs of Bank America, uh, TD Bank, as it's Sturm and Ruger and Smith and Wesson. And you said in Texas, we have a more modest view of government. You are inviting the arms dealers or the arms manufacturers to move down to Texas. Uh, that, that, that's exactly right. Uh, this was in response to the widely reported letter that, that Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel sent uh, to two major banks, uh, urging them to cut off the lines of credits to two venerable gun manufacturers, Smith & Wesson and Ruger, and to pressure them into supporting President Obama's aggressive gun control agenda. And, and when Rahm Emanuel wrote that letter, I mean, my reaction, I, I think that letter was abusive. I don't think that's the proper role of an elected official to be trying to bully private companies into enlisting in a political lobbying campaign. Uh, and... Mm-hmm. and so my response was, was to write a letter to those same companies as well as to the gun manufacturers and to Mayor Emanuel and say, number one, to the banks. In Texas, we have the, the view, some might call it quaint, that, that, that <laughs> elected officials work for the people. The people don't work for the elected officials. And, and I encourage the banks, if they want to bring – more business to Texas and bring more jobs to Texas. There's a reason a thousand people a day are moving to Texas, and I'm proud that one of those was 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 you, Glenn. Mm-hmm. I, I welcome you as as a relative. Free at Texan, last. But as, you, know, as last. you know, in Texas, we value freedom, and t- Texas is where the jobs are. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I there's a new I have a new slogan for Texas, and I think it's one that every Texan needs to say, and every employer in Texas needs to stay say. Move to Texas for the freedom, not the jobs. I mean, if you're coming here just for a job, I don't want you here, quite honestly. If you're coming here because the jobs, you understand that the jobs are being created because we are free in this state, come to Texas. Because this is the last, this is the last bastion of, of real freedom. Yeah, don't come here just for a job and then turn it into New York. We yeah, don't, don't want that. We don't want, we don't we want don't you want to turn that. it into California. There's mm. a reason why Texas is creating 50% of all of the jobs in the last four years, 50% of all of the jobs in America. There's a reason for it. It's freedom. I think you're exactly right, Glenn. I'll tell you, I have joked that, that as you know, I'm very concerned about border security, but at yeah. times I'm concerned about our western border. Oh, so am I. Uh, and, and, and all of the Californians, and listen, if they are coming to embrace freedom, I welcome them. But, but it seems to me, and this is slightly tongue-in-cheek, that, that, that there should be an entrance exam when someone is okay. fleeing a I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear you state and coming to Texas. Do you understand <laughs> what has happened to the place you're fleeing, and will you commit now <laughs> not to bring those misguided policies here and and ruin the freedom we enjoy. For me, I, that's not tongue in cheek at yeah, all. Yeah, I know, and I was glad, just, that should be mandatory. Yeah, I, I'm and I'm dead serious yeah. on that. And I I have <laughs> to tell you, but I'm glad to hear you say it was slightly tongue in cheek. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I have to tell you, by the way, Glenn, at the, at the Hegel hearing yesterday, a um, uh, some s- some liberal activist on Twitter sent what I think was my favorite tweet of the entire day, which is that this individual said. Now Cruz is going all Glenn Beck in the hearing, <laughs> which, which I took that as a high, high compliment. I, I guess it was that, that, that I tried to intrude on the hearing with a little bit of facts and actually put Chuck Hagel's own oh, record and yep, own words right. in front of him. Yep. Oh, that's a, that is a real compliment. I'm sorry that they, they tried to use me to smear you, but I'll send you a chalkboard. <laughs> I, 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 I was I was honored by the comparison. That's great. Thank you very much, Senator. Um, uh, just keep up the good work. Don't um, you just shout out if somebody is trying to corner. If somebody is, if you start to feel like I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm the darkness is closing. Uh, darkness in. is closing in because it will. It mm. absolutely will close in around you, and you can't lose your way. And just know that there are millions of Americans 
that are praying for you and praying for other senators and congressmen just like you. We know we have a handful of them. Just just don't lose your soul and cry out for help because we'll be there. Just keep Well, well, well Glenn, I, I'll tell you, in just three weeks, the New York Times has devoted a lead editorial to blasting me. Bill Maher has attacked me, Rachel Maddow, Chris Matthews, Morning Joe seems to devote their morning sections to attacking me. And I'll tell you what, I I view all of that as as a sign that that, that maybe we're doing something right. Well, I will tell you that we are trying fast, uh, to to coin a phrase, fast and furious without, you know, getting in bed with drug lords uh, like our administration has. But um, we are working as fast as we can to... uh, uh, build a a alternative network that is not beholden to the parties and not beholden to um, any kind of uh, liberal nonsense. And uh, we will stand behind anybody who stands up for the Constitution and stands up for liberty. And and we've got your back. And well, I appreciate, I, I appreciate it, and and I cannot tell you the strength that it, it gives to know that 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 you're being lifted up. Uh, by the prayers of uh, men and women across America and by the support and, and all of us, I mean, in what you're doing and what I'm doing, uh, we're fighting to save our country. And, and I feel incredibly blessed to have an opportunity to have a, at least some small difference preserving the incredible freedom and the incredible opportunity that that, that is the United States of America. You know that, um, I mean, just a, a personal thing, I just want to... Uh... I've only got about a minute here. Maybe we'll get into it some other time. I just, I just, I, I, I respect what you're doing, and we'll leave it at that, and we'll talk again, Senator. Thank I, you so much. I appreciate much. it, and thank you, and and let's uh, keep going. Let's get it done together. You got it. Thank you, um, Senator uh, Ted Cruz from uh, Texas. If if you haven't seen what he did yesterday, go to the website. Go to go to theblaze.com and uh, and see it. It's phenomenal.